You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day field oh, drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Hey. Wait, hey, North Los Angeles? That. Like, I said all's fair in there's just a building world. called 208 somewhere in North Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah, you gotta go find it. Good luck. I just wish you'd hurry up oh, but your partner always knows where it is. Ah, funny thing about my partner. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something to him right here. Oh no. That bum took a swipe at me. Order put it down in my sack to get an ID. What bum? Wait, did he say he shot good. that bum? I, I think so. Are you gonna take off with your, your partner? No. Because I just got offended. Nobody beeps at Cole Phelps, traffic cop. <laughs> Does he not know I control traffic? Put him in his place, man. Put him in his place. I think he's learned his lesson. All right, time to move on. So Bukowski got into the wrong car. <laughs> so goodbye, Bukowski. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Who said God damn it? I did. Okay. Cole gets a little mad at himself sometimes. Sometimes. He's a perfectionist. If he can't destroy all of the cars on the road, he's upset. You almost high centered it. Yeah, that damn light pole is pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, it didn't hit the trolley you thought I was going to. <laughs> no, you did not. So, unfortunately, uh, Bukowski's AI is kind of super dumb, and he's not getting into a car and, like, chasing me down. No? Is he running? He's not running either. Oh. But also, I'm super dumb and didn't realize that there wasn't a way down to the little icon there. <laughs> so I guess I'll just do this backwards. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, you're just gonna continue backwards. And I'm locked on my target and, oh. <laughs> oh. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? 
Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the Patterson? The street that was definitely was Patterson. Okay, Head first Burkowski, the then Patterson. <laughs> The, the weirdest part is in like 10 minutes, we're going to hear there. Patterson. The bar. Oh, great. Harry. Did somebody like no, not tell the voice actor how to pronounce old, it? I don't know. I think they just said like, fuck it, we need to get so? this game shipped. We'll take a later. Right now we're <laughs> just take, take whatever you get. Hmm, there appears to be a body on the street. You should take a look at the body. <laughs> this is, this is definitely not part of traffic. Uh, it doesn't look like a car. It's on the street. On it's part of traffic. Struck him from behind. What the fuck? Sixteen thousand dollars? That really is a lot for this time period. Yeah. And thank you, Team Bondi or Bondi or however you say it, for uh, using a font for a handwritten note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you have to look closely, but in what the fuck, everything's the same. Yep. <gasps> Money! Oh, take it. We can notify next of kin. Or we can take the money! Or both. Yes, the money! Yeah, alright. Take it. It's like two bucks. Take the money. <laughs> it's like $3,000 back then. That's right. Ugh, Phelps, you're too good. I'll take it out of evidence later. <laughs> They'll never know it was gone. Nope. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, nope, he's definitely dead. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Mm -hmm. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Body traveled a good 20 feet. It also looks like it was drug. Well, there's the point of impact. Right. So it was sort of... Long way from the body. Drug. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. You know, with alcohol, cocaine. <laughs> right. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Or he floored it. Yeah. As I would. <laughs> and managed to spin out while going at a high rate of speed. That's impressive. In the immortal words of Stefan Bukowski, now you've either got a stop or kill people. <laughs> knife covered in blood. I needed to examine that to see the blood? Yes, you did. It could have just been strawberry jam. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Let me just give it a little taste. I'll let you know if it's human. <laughs> Cole Phelps. He knows the difference between bloods. Cannibalistic homicide. I mean, traffic cop. <laughs> it's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Don't touch him. He's gross. <laughs> he likes to dig in the trash. Can you tell us what happened? Well... I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. And then I opened the window because I thought there'd be a fight. <laughs> and what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. It's awfully specific. That's very specific, but it's also the truth. All right. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Most of those are not letters. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. Something's up. Yep. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? 
I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I never been around to killing before. Trying to find work as an actress. So this is why she was happy. She was trying to get work as an actress by getting into the newspaper. Arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly yeah, got she's away with very the concerned, spells. and into the alley she goes. Give it a rest, <laughs> to die. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. No. We'll take the newspaper. There's one of these in almost every chapter. Okay. Or every case. Courtney! Come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually of benefit to society at large. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Uh, fixing your audio would be a better start. I run the place yep. the owner ain't around. That's sort of a weird theme the for uh, this case, out? at least. There are two Somebody people who have really up. messed up audio. Mrs. Yeah. Home. What can you tell me about the accident? They had their own microphones from home. A lot. It was busy yeah, this was recorded over Skype. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that's just garbage, right? Yeah. Who would use Skype? I don't know. Weird people. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Haha, <laughs> because he's dead. Yeah. He's a regular out on the street, too. Haha, <laughs> because he's dead. <laughs> Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. But I sure was. A witness overheard an argument. <laughs> Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? I would rather air my clean laundry. What? What am I supposed to evaluate there? It's just... Uh, just... He looks doubtful. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna it was last was call. She had a few too many. I had a few too many. Lorna and Leroy he had a lot too many. About opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. The owner. Of this bar. That I work at. <laughs> right. Owned by Leroy Sabo. <laughs> This bar's owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Yeah, okay. 
You stupid cop. You gotta, you gotta tell, man. And it's being stupid. <laughs> Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? Cold, you're like a Unless third of his weight. He, he will wreck you. <laughs> it's true. Until you pull your gun out. Want to pitch Leroy about the bar. Well, yeah, I guess the gun kind of ups him in the ranks. I was talking about the bartender. <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign was a statement with the patrolman. Really helpful, sure. no actually. You, you were avoiding the, the truth the whole time. All that we really learned is the owner of the bar's name. Yeah, it's true. And that they had an affiliation. And Lester was a fan of the Love Tap. Oh. So, a wife beater's dead. It's not such a bad thing. Who gives a shit? But this is traffic cops. Somebody got hit. This is why everybody comes to raise. And now I'm Cole Phelps' poker cop. <laughs> is that Vice? Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Just so you know, I play with a loaded gun under the table pointed at everybody. <laughs> How do you have a loaded gun pointed at everyone? You don't want to know. Operator, <laughs> All right. message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. You're in L.A. How many possible... Only one possible make on that license. Yeah, let me let me just get my spreadsheet I have of cars. <laughs> that is bullshit. Thanks, man. See, the reason I think it's so easy for her to find all these cars is because I'm destroying all the others. Okay, that's fair. No yeah. cars left on the road. You only have like one page to look over. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Well, nothing going on here. All right, time to move. And also, they kind of moved my car, so I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Yep. Oh, change your mind. Yeah. I mean, I gotta stick with what I got. <laughs> and hopefully that's not Bukowski. So if I can just sneak in here. And... Oh no, not the notebook. Uh, I hear him running. Oh, he made it. So we're gonna go after the owner of the Red Lincoln Continental before we go to the grieving wife. Okay. I mean, why not? And now that grieving wife. He clearly saw me. He did. He shouldn't have made that turn. It's his own fault. You're a traffic cop. I hope my lights are still on after that accident. <laughs> There's at least one light on. Slow down! Why don't they just stop? Yeah, why don't the pedestrians just stop? Oh, unbelievable! Look at that mailbox, go! Oh, you were taking it along with you. Oh, there it goes. Sure. So you may be interested to know this, but I do not get five stars in this case. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Which is bullshit. You've done so well. Ooh. That had a good bounce, wow. That really Was did. that my hood? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Nice stop. Oh, look, my car's fixed. <laughs> Good. Also, we're just gonna kind of chill here with our hats clipping into the roof of the car for like three hours. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. Bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Thinks he can run from well, maybe he can. Look at his car just dart around this corner. Like, oh, how am I supposed to match that? I, 
you gotta get a Lincoln. So this car chase can end one of two ways. Uh, both encounter uh, homicides along the way that are totally not my fault. Oh. <laughs> but you can either disable his car by hitting it enough, yeah. or uh, eventually he will lead you all the way to the train station, and then you just kind of chase him into the train station, and then a cutscene plays. But I'm going to try my hardest to, you know, knock him off the road. Yeah. Don't let that asshole get away! That's, that's a good way to do it. That's it! Cuff him and we're done. Alright, nicely done. What? How, why would you pull all the way up to that point? Put your hands in the air! Like you just don't care. That was a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Sheldon. I hit him. I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife. And let her know what's happening. Okay. That was a little close. That was very close. Paperwork, don't you? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Pulls down. <laughs> that's so bad. Oh, that's so terrible. 